Greetings, feeble subjects. It is I, Pickle Man, coming to you with an announcement so I can get a few things off my chest. Operation Peanut Butter is officially over. There are a few reasons why I ended it. For starters, I want to give you guys a satisfying ending instead of leaving it on a cliffhanger like a certain other series. And I wanted to finish it in the summer because I'm continuing my college education this fall and it will be even busier than last year. Anyways, uh, if you're like me and you think Operation Peanut Butter is the dumbest title for a series ever, well, OPB was originally planned to be literally about a police duo named Smooth and Crunchy. Then the idea of it being about the actors who play the characters came up. Director Nicole was originally going to be the police chief, still giving Smooth and Crunchy a hard time. The wacky title of the series would have made more sense with my original idea, because they'd be cops on secret operations. And I noticed a lot of you commenting about your confusion with the ending of Episode 8. Well, it's really for you to decide what actually happened and what didn't. Now that that's out of the way, I'd like to show you something. Crap, I went too far. Ah, oh, sweet! I freaking love this thing! No, 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 it's not the time for this. There we go. Now that we're all here, let's roll the film. Due to popular demand, and by popular, I mean a large enough group of people pestering me about WHEN DO YOU LEAVE SEASON 3? 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 But nah, seriously. I am excited to continue the Elites, but only to end the series with one long movie. But because of my school year, don't expect the movie to be completed anytime soon. And don't let that teaser mislead you. Those aren't scenes from the movie. I'm really not sure how long it'll take, so just be on the lookout for another announcement or a trailer or something. And so because of that, I'm going to need help body acting. So this August, I plan on getting a lot of the difficult body acting out of the way. So on Saturday 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern, Sunday 24th at 8 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern. These are the dates where I'm going to be trying to get a lot of the large body acting sessions done. Uh, there will be a bit of spoilers with the action scenes that you guys are going to be seeing if you're going to help. Better help. Okay, if you guys are still watching, for the rest of this video, I'd like to give a big thank you to all my main voice actors. Youngblood, for starters, who helped me carry the elites, and together we collectively voice acted every character until Burger King was brought in to voice act The Merchant, and later on Battery and Banks. And I properly thanked him by giving him the lamest role in OPB, Brian. 
Man, shut up, Brian. Marishka Vampire voice acted Boletta, and she's the only main voice actor who isn't also an OPB. Soon after came Arbitha, the voice actress for Isis, Bast, Cassie, and Nicole, and Kradon, who voices Raw, Set, and Eddie. And thirdly, Alien Montage, who not only voice acted Horus and Osiris, but also built the underground HQ map. You know, the one with the big kill ball in the center. Emmy Angel of Sin played the Esther character perfectly. And did some side roles, like a receptionist, maybe a bartender, I don't remember. Zed from the Zed Productions was already helping me body act and build maps since I started the series before finally voice acting. He voices the prosecutor, the talk show host, and most of all, Boomite Guy. Brawmaster was an excellent addition to the series with his douchey voice for Nigel, the type of voice he does well for many characters in his own series, FTW Police. And lastly, Quicksilver. He voiced Anubis in the flashback segments of the Elites. He also voiced a police officer and a judge who each made a few appearances in OPB, and a priest in the final episode. Because, you know, I get lazy and I use the same voice actor to play a bunch of characters, because probably they didn't even notice. In terms of maps, Youngblood and I built the early things like Rumpus's farmhouse, Merchant's hideout, which is why they look like shit. Later on, some fans built maps for us, like uh, Unsound Deadshot building the Jackal Barrel, and Lego Boy Fan 2 who built the Covenant Cruiser. For OPB, the Zed Productions pretty much built everything for me. So go ahead and give him a pat on the back. I'd like to give credit to everyone who's ever voice acted for either of my series, as well as every body actor. So we're just going to like roll the clip thing here. Maybe cut to black. <clears throat> Fuck, what time is it? Wow, I slept in. Kind of looks like a Rise of the Spartans episode. With all this long list of body actors just kind of flying through the screen. <laughs> 